Good morning, everyone. So today, the headline, the news of the cosmic energies for the day is that Mars is squaring Pluto. So um, when Mars squares Pluto, there's a better opportunity to argue with people, to get into fight, to get your ego involved in everything. Um, I know some people that are like avoiding everybody like the plague today, which is, you know, if that's your bag, if that's what you need to do. I could already tell, like I went to the grocery store this morning um, and I could already tell that people were getting, that people were impatient and they were getting a little um, irritated if they had to like wait a little extra longer. Like <laughs> um, if the cash register or like the electronic cash register breaks, it's not the cashier's fault. <laughs> like why, why, I don't understand people sometimes. Anyway, so yes, the patience is kind of thin. Um, the best way to handle today and probably the energy for the rest of the week, uh, because there's going to be a lot of um, feeling like you need to get your responsibilities done, having a lot of extra stress and pressure. And some of it you're, you're making up in your own mind. Like some of it isn't even real or like the responsibility is not even yours and you're taking it on. Like it's your responsibility and then when it doesn't work out, then you beat yourself up even though it wasn't yours to begin with, right? That's like the energy of the week. So um, <clears throat> it's not that I want you to just like do the bare minimum or hide away. That's, I mean, we all have to live, right? We have to live. So the best way, I didn't put my phone on do not disturb. Sorry, I know it's, it's a thing. Um, if I put it on Do Not Disturb, like, it'll be on all day long, and I'll forget that I put it on Do Not Disturb. And then I'll miss phone calls and text messages and emails and ridiculous. So that, I think that's why I do that so often is that I forget. But, um, yeah, so the best way to handle this energy is to transmute it. And the way that you transmute a negative energy or a heavy energy is do something that lifts your spirits, that makes you smile, um, that makes you feel a little bit more free, not so constricted. Uh, like my thing that I do to transmute energy is I go outside, I go for a walk, I breathe in the fresh air. I know it's starting to get colder outside. So if that's not a possibility, um, turn on some music, um, call a friend, like somebody that you know is going to make you laugh. Like, if you find yourself getting into a situation or feeling, and it's going to be all week long, I'm telling you, it's going to be all week. If you find yourself feeling a little bit extra, because it's Scorpio season, and it's Mercury retrograde, and Mars is square Pluto, and um, there's, you know, the sun is, is also going to be squaring um, Saturn, I believe. Like, there's so many things where it's like responsibility after responsibility after responsibility, um, and we're, this is all leading up to the Taurus full moon, which is all about taking responsibility to make your dreams come true. So we, we feel a lot of pressure and it's okay. It's totally okay to feel pressure. Um, but what's not okay, because pressure can get you moving. It can get you motivated. It can get you pushing forward. What's not okay is sitting in the pressure and feeling sorry for yourself. And I, and I don't feel like everybody's wallowing in their self-pity. And if you're able to transmute the energy, but here's the thing, like, don't get up and go do a thing and then be like, oh, well, that didn't work. Like, like really put yourself into it. Really do something that's going to help you lift your mood a little bit. Because right now it's 100% needed. Um, for example, I'm keeping myself um, occupied. I'm like allowing myself to rest when I need to. I'm only really interacting with people that have the highest of vibrations that vibe high on me. So if I've been interacting with you, congratulations. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but like I'm purposefully not getting around people that, that I know can easily trigger me because I don't want my vibration to be knocked off just because somebody else is in a crappy ass mood 
and um, they decide that they want to say something nasty to me, and then it triggers me, and then my whole vibe is off, right? Like, I'm purposefully this week, any other week, I wouldn't just avoid everybody, but purposefully this week, I am. And it's because I got things to do, and I have enough energies that I'm dealing with that I'm not going to purposefully put myself in any situation. So, um, yeah, I mean, just really take care of yourself. Really, really watch how you are interacting with other people. And um, if you feel irritated, like 100% don't start a really big discussion with somebody if you're already irritated. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> like, like, I'm begging you. Don't do that to yourself. So let's see what the cards have to say. Uh, remember that I do have a couple of reading openings. I have actually several reading openings um, in a couple of weeks. So um, get that. I am going to be finishing the general readings. I know everybody is waiting for their general reading, and I truly appreciate your patience on them. I think that everybody's sort of aware that Mercury retrograde um, can be, especially for me, like if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen the pattern. And you would think that I would have learned that lesson by now that I need to get it all out like five days before Mercury goes retrograde, but all right, yo, listen, don't dwell on what hasn't happened in your life yet, right? Don't dwell on the past, the five of cups. Don't dwell on the past and um, don't put yourself in a situation where you know, like you already inherently know that you need to have boundaries right now. So I have the high priestess and I have the seven of wands. Like, and if you're a highly sensitive person, meaning you are sensitive to energies, any energies like it doesn't even matter if it's a good or a bad energy if you are sensitive to any energies now the veil is so thin I mean that's what Scorpio season's all about the veil is so thin between the 5d and the 3d the veil is very very thin and so you you have to really like step up the protection level right now is not the time for you to be slacking on protecting your energy. And if you don't know how to protect your energy, join us for at least one of the meditations that we do once a week, the meditation healing circles that we do once a week, because I teach you how to protect your energy. Um, and, it, and I teach you how to ground yourself and to align all of your chakras. And whoa. It's like one card wanted to come out, but 20 did instead. I'm not using all of these, by the way. But I am going to use this one because it's so true to form. The five of one. Some of you are just like gearing yourself up for a fight. Some of you just can't help yourselves right now. And maybe it's because you've had so much pressure on you for so long that now you're the pressure cooker and you got to let off the steam. And that's what this time is. This time isn't about the buildup of pressure. This is about how you've been giving of yourself, six of pentacles, over and over and over and over again for so long. But here, I want to ask you this, though, because we can be the martyr all we want. We can be the martyr and we can say, I think they're, let me, I'm going to shuffle through one time and see if they have any more cards. But um, I think they're done with me getting any more cards out. Um, you can be the martyr all you want and say, um, oh, there we go. And say that I give and give and give and give. And what do I get back? Nothing. I give, get nothing back in return. You can be that person. But when it comes down to it, you're the person that chose to give to begin with. Did those people even ask? For you to give them anything for you to be the martyr of it right um it's like somebody trying to make you feel guilty for them doing something nice for you you see what i mean that's that's what this feels like so that's why <laughs> i'm gonna be abundant in my oneness 
right here, nine of pentacles. I'm literally like, I'm going to give the amount of energy that I can give out. And that's the, that's the advice I'm giving to you guys. Like, because right now during these times, sorry, I got to like shift, <laughs> I shift myself. Um, during these times, people can pop off real easily, really, really fast. So, and if you're already like kind of being hard on yourself, with the Five of Cups, if you're already being hard on yourself, these arguments will amplify that. And that's why, even though I'm in like a perfectly calm, peaceful existence in my life, and I'm not allowing anyone to mess with my flow at all, <laughs> like I'm legit, like if you want to bring it at me, I am I will remove you from the situation <laughs> because I'm not playing. I'm not playing. But if... um. Um, if you are having a hard time doing that, if you're not able to do that, then literally just stay away from people for a little, for a couple of days. Stay away from the people that are triggering you. Because if you're already, and I don't feel like it's a low vibration. I just feel like some of you are sad. I feel like some of you are dwelling and Mercury retrograde makes us do that. It makes us Think about the past, and if you start thinking about the past and you start getting sad about it because it's no longer existing and all of the things, right? So let's see what this Five of Cups is. Okay, and here's the thing is, and I, I've been telling everybody this, this is temporary. This moment, this instant in time the situation that you're in right now, the people that are around you, all of it. It's temporary. And some of the people might stay, but the ones that are triggering you when you're already down, five of cups, they're going to go, right? And with the chariot and the two of wands coming out on top of the five of cups, I automatically wanted to just say, this is temporary. You get to choose to not be in this situation. This is saying, this two of wands and this chariot, you get to choose to not be. Choose again. Instead of sitting in sadness, instead of thinking about all of the things that are wrong with you, or all of the things that are wrong with your life, or you know what I mean? Choose again. It's time for you to look past, right? It's time for you to look past. So the high priestess, and I know that I'm going to trigger some people today with this reading. I already, I kind of already, like there are regulars. There are some regulars that comment. And I can kind of already feel the triggering happening. Um, so let's see, the high priestess. Yeah. See, and here's the thing, the Seven of Swords on the High Priestess. The thing about the Seven of Swords is, yes, you can truly feel deceived. You can feel like somebody kept something from you, somebody's deceived you, something was very deceptive, right? Um, and you, you, all, you already, you already know about this, like, if you're sitting there and wondering if somebody is not on the up and up with you, seven of wands, boundaries, like it's time for you. And the other thing is, is if you decide to pull away from any situation or any whatever is going on in your life, if you decide to pull away, don't feel guilty about that. That's your prerogative. If you decide that, that this is not the time for you to show up in people's lives. That is your prerogative. Um, and you know what? I, I honestly, like, you don't have to think about who you're going to have boundaries with. Just have boundaries with everybody. The two of pentacles on the side. Because I feel like some of you are like, who do I need to put boundaries up with, right? But I want to say you need to have the same boundaries for everybody. You need to have the same expectations from everybody and you need to have you need to be able to voice those expectations clearly 
with everybody, right? Just because he's your boyfriend and she's your sister, that doesn't mean that you just let your boyfriend do whatever you want and not your, you know what I mean? It's like, or do whatever he wants. You have boundaries, right? That two of pentacles on the seven of wands. Um, and don't be wishy-washy with your boundaries. Setting the boundary is the easy part. Being firm with it, that takes some doing. That takes some stuff. I'm getting this really awkward feeling, like strange. All right. So the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. Like I literally just felt a heaviness as I was shuffling there when I was like, I feel a little strange. It was like this heaviness set, set down over me. I want to say with the Queen of Pentacles on the Five of Wands, because the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is inherently, like it's just part of her nature to be like the mother figure, right? The the one that's grounded, the one that knows. And I so I feel like her coming out on the Five of Wands is telling all of us that even the calmest warmest, most loving individuals in this world have this triggering feeling inside of them right now. Like, I don't, and I feel like I need to tell you that because I don't want you to feel bad, right? Now, also, if you're the Queen of Pentacles type person where you're legit taking care of everybody all the time and you're constantly giving your energy away, I feel like you're fighting with yourself to not do that anymore. Um, or you're realizing where you need to start putting your boundaries up in order, you know, while you're the helper, while you're giving, giving of yourself, right? Like, for example, here we go. Let me give you an example. You know how I like to give you examples of my own life. Um, I had to come to terms in the last couple of years or last like really three to four years that my life is really here to serve. Like I am here, I was born to be, to serve other people. I was born to be a healer. Um, it, that was very hard for me to come to terms with because I'm, I, my ego battle that I used to have very much ego battle, right? That's what this kind of is right now um, with the five of wands and the queen of pentacles. The ego battle that I would have is, but what about me? If I'm always serving everybody else, who's going to serve me? Like the martyrdom, right? And that, and so I had to get over that. I had to get over, I had to get over myself <laughs> because your ego is yourself, but it's not your higher self, but it is yourself. I don't, that, that's, I'm not going to get into explaining that, but that's sort of like the easiest way to say it. Um, so here's, here's the thing is when it, it took me a while to finally come into a place in my life where I was like, I get it. I am here to serve. And that's not a bad thing. And the fact that I kept making it such a bad thing for so long really meant that part of my ego was really, really holding on for a very long time, saying to not give, give. If you're not in a place where you can give of yourself and give your energy without being triggered because you didn't get it back in return, if you're not in that place, stop giving your energy away. You have to focus on yours. And if you're like a healer and a spiritual teacher and all of that, of course, like I learned how to um, be okay with, with serving because I give back to myself. That's how I became okay with it, right? But I had to, it took me a long time to figure that out. I don't need other people to give back to me because I can give back to myself. And I feel like some of us are learning that lesson right now that if you want to be a healer and you want to be a spiritual teacher, you have to give back to yourself. And that's not just having a spa day. And it's not just, and here's your aha moment. And I think that that's what's coming. 
I feel like this energy right now and today, um, you're having like these aha moments of, oh, wow, I really do need to stop taking care of everybody all the time and start taking care of myself. And that's being kind to yourself too. Not telling yourself lies, not telling yourself all of the evil things, not reminding yourself of all the bad things you did in the past or, you know, all, you know, because we, we can be very cruel to ourselves. And when you start telling yourself what a badass you are, and like how amazing you are and all of the things that you can accomplish in your life and look how far you've come and look at everything. That If you start telling yourself that, use the energy right now, this push, push, push energy right now to build yourself up. You can choose how this energy is going to affect you is the point of this whole reading. And if you've held on all the way through this reading to get to that point... Then you know what I'm talking about. Nine of Pentacles. It's time for you to make yourself feel like you're in control, right? Um, control of yourself, control of your life, control of your environment. Now, inherently, we're not all we're not in control. Honestly, we we just aren't. We have free will and we can make other decisions or make other choices in life. But when it comes down to it, our journey is our journey is our journey. No matter how we get there, we're still going to we're still going to get through the journey that we planned for ourselves. Right. Right now, the way for you to transmute this energy from something that could keep you feeling like the five of cups, the seven of, of swords, the seven of wands, the five of wands, totally defensive. Totally feeling like you're constantly um, have to be on guard, angry, irritated. The big, the way to transmute that energy is to take care of yourself first and foremost. Because when you feel good, you can everybody everybody else can tell, and that's what you want people to be attracted to. You want people to be attracted. Um, and I don't mean attracted in like a romantic vibe. I mean, maybe if that's what you're looking for right now, okay. But I mean attracted in a way where um, people want to be around you. People want to know your know what your secret to happiness is. People want to know, you know what I mean? Like to get to that point where people are like, how can you be so happy during this time in your life? How can you do that? Um the four of swords on the nine of pentacles take care of yourself meditate take a walk breathe in fresh air be kind tell yourself really kind things you know and um the self-alignment workshop that i'm doing on sunday the last time that i'm going to be offering it really gives you a good solid foundation on how to live your best life in no matter what like no matter what circumstance you're in how to live your best life and um so and that's a lot this is the last time i'm going to be offering this workshop it's like um the best gift that i can give to you is this workshop and it's cheaper than getting a reading so uh, it's only $44 so if you haven't had the opportunity and the chance to sign up for that um, I sort of feel like pushing that today I'm not sure if like some of you really need to hear that again um, it is on Sunday it's in the middle of the afternoon if you cannot make it live it will be recorded and sent out like an hour after it's after we're done um, so I hope to see you all there and the meditations have been fantastic. The next one that we're going to be doing is the Taurus full moon. Um, I'm debating on doing a meditation on 11, 11, but I think I might just do a live reading. So we'll see. Um, I might throw in like a special meditation. So keep an eye out for, <laughs> keep an eye out for that. Um, and, and really, I mean, if you need me at all, you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. Um, you can uh, email me if anything is needed. So take care of yourselves. Please take care of yourself this week. And uh, I love you all. And have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday.